Saturn will resume direct motion in Aquarius on November 4, 2023, and this direct motion will continue until June 2024. Before we delve into the details, it's important to note that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. In astrology, Saturn symbolizes delay, frustration, restriction, limitation, and anxiety in astrological terms. It represents authority figures such as your workplace boss or the fatherly figure in your home. Saturn is often seen as the karmic debt from past lives, embodying the aspects that were not adequately addressed in those prior incarnations. Its role involves delivering life's challenges and lessons. In the physical realm, Saturn governs old age, teeth and bones in the human body, diseases, and various transformative processes. Saturn also signifies step relations. Wherever Saturn is placed in your birth chart, people associated with that house might adopt a somewhat challenging attitude. The essence of Saturn's influence is about hard work, unwavering effort, and perseverance. Nothing comes easily or swiftly with Saturn. Instead, it necessitates sustained and dedicated labor over an extended period. Saturn is an agent of change in life, but these changes occur when you've veered off the right path, with Saturn guiding you back onto the correct course. In essence, Saturn steers you toward the right life path and career by initiating changes when you've strayed. So, during Saturn transits, especially when it affects critical points like the Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Saturn Return, or the Tenth House, it's advisable not to resist the transformations it urges. Embracing the changes Saturn prompts is the easier path, as resistance won't yield any different outcome. Instead, it will make the transformation process more challenging. A more precise understanding of the impact of this transit can be gained by examining Saturn's Ashtaka Varga score in Aquarius. Keep in mind that the effects of this transit will differ from person to person, contingent on Saturn's interaction with the planets in their individual birth charts, or its transit through the zodiac. It's also worth noting that individuals currently experiencing the influence of Saturn Dasha may feel the effects of this transit more intensely. To assess the impact of this transit, it's crucial to consider your ascendant and moon signs. The Ascendant sign provides insights into the timing of life events, while the Moon sign reveals how you'll emotionally respond to these changes. Additionally, consider the position of your current Mahadasha Lord in your birth chart, as it can shed light on how these transits will influence the recurring themes of your current Dasha period. It's important to remember that the effects of this transit will vary for each person. To understand how this transit may affect you based on your zodiac sign and the houses it transits, let's delve into those specifics. For Aries, Saturn rules over the 10th and 11th houses, transiting 11th house. The 11th house in astrology is linked to gains, desires, and income. When Saturn goes direct in this house, it signifies a shift in focus for Aries individuals. They become more intent on improving their financial situation, mainly because they might have been experiencing resource constraints. In other words, Aries people will now work hard to boost their earnings and fulfill their desires. Saturn's direct motion in Aquarius also has a broader impact. Aries individuals may find themselves in a better mental state to make significant life decisions. Their views and actions become more explicit, making it easier to implement their plans. This clarity of purpose extends to various aspects of life, especially when it comes to important decisions like new investments, which can bring them a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. On the family front, Aries individuals may need to pay attention to the well-being of their elder siblings as they could be experiencing stress or health issues during this period. Professionally, Aries individuals are likely to see more success in terms of career advancement and promotions. Their relationships with superiors and colleagues may also improve, leading to a sense of contentment, and they may establish a strong professional reputation. There might also be opportunities for a permanent job change that aligns with their interests. Additionally, Saturn's influence on the 11th house can be favorable for entrepreneurial ventures. Aries individuals involved in business may witness increased income and potential for new business opportunities. Those in partnerships could experience success in collaboration, and if they seek new partnerships, they're likely to encounter more success. Overall, this period holds promise for achieving a higher level of prosperity, but it won't come easily. It will demand hard work and persistence as the Saturn is associated with determination and perseverance. In this phase, Aries individuals might also find themselves gravitating towards large organizations, either as employees or in collaboration. There's a possibility of relocating to a new place during this time. 
This change in residence can be attributed to the 11th house's position as the 8th house from the 4th, indicating a change or transformation in living arrangements. Financially, Aries individuals can anticipate increased income during Saturn's direct transit in Aquarius, providing them with greater satisfaction. These financial gains may come from various sources, but the key to success is hard work and diligence. It's essential for Aries individuals to be practical and wise with their finances, or they may find themselves running out of resources. This transit period can also lead to opportunities for gaining from others' assets, profiting from business ventures, and forming new friendships. However, it's crucial to remember that significant gains from the 11th house can only be achieved through sustained effort over an extended period. Overall, for Aries individuals, Saturn turning direct in the 11th house means a period of hard work and focus on financial and professional growth. It's a time when careful planning and persistence can lead to increased income, better professional relationships, and possibly even a change in residence. However, it's vital to manage resources wisely and remain dedicated to long-term goals to reap the rewards of this transit. For Taurus sign, Saturn's governs both their ninth house, related to higher learning, gurus, law, religion, and philosophy, and their tenth house, which is associated with career, fame, and their relationship with their father. Saturn turning direct in their tenth house, a shift that heavily centers on their professional life and work. This transit emphasizes the need for Taurus individuals to invest extra effort and demonstrate unwavering perseverance in their careers. It's a period characterized by potential changes and challenges, both in terms of their career path and authority figures in their lives. Stress may arise in their interactions with authority figures, whether at home or in the workplace. This could manifest as unwelcome transfers, demotions, suspensions, and other adverse career developments. Moreover, an ever-increasing workload and difficulties in completing tasks might be part of the equation. The tenth house is closely linked to the role of the father, and during this transit, Taurus individuals may find themselves physically separated from their fathers or facing health issues and other concerns affecting their paternal figure. Their own public image may also be at risk, demanding diligent efforts to meet the expectations of others. A career or job change could be in the cards, suggesting a time of significant shifts in their professional life. Saturn's influence isn't limited to the 10th house alone, it also casts its 10th aspect on the 7th house Scorpio. This house pertains to relationships, and given its connection to the 10th house as it is Bhuvath Bhavam of the 10th house. These means the focus of this transit remains firmly on career, public image, and how they intertwine. As a result, Taurus individuals may find themselves extremely hardworking, realizing that results will only come through their dedicated efforts. However, these benefits won't come easily, and they might experience delays in achieving their goals. Nevertheless, their hard work may lead to recognition from their superiors, acknowledging their dedication. In the area of business and entrepreneurship, Taurus individuals may experience only moderate profits during this period, rather than the substantial gains they may have anticipated. Factors contributing to this may include potential losses due to negligence and a lack of support from business partners. Overall, the current Saturn transit profoundly impacts Taurus individuals, focusing on their careers, paternal relationships, and personal image. It's a time when hard work and perseverance are essential, even though the rewards may not be readily forthcoming. This period might bring challenges in their professional life and require them to adapt to changing circumstances. In the realm of business, the emphasis is on moderate profits, with the possibility of losses if they aren't diligent and if they don't receive adequate support from their business partners. It's a demanding phase that urges them to navigate career shifts, tackle increasing workloads, and maintain their professional reputation with dedication and tenacity. For Gemini sign, Saturn rules both their 8th house, which deals with occult, mysteries, and sudden events, and their ninth house, related to higher learning, gurus, law, religion, and philosophy. Saturn turning direct in the ninth house, indicating a period of particular significance that centers on higher education spiritual exploration, and a quest for wisdom. During this transit, Gemini individuals are inclined towards higher learning and education. They find themselves drawn to the study of various religions and philosophies, reflecting a deep intellectual curiosity. This curiosity often leads to an interest in embarking on journeys to distant places, resembling pilgrimages, and encountering people from diverse cultures. It's a time of self-education and expanding one's horizons in the area of beliefs and knowledge. One noteworthy aspect of this transit is the potential to connect with an experienced and wise guru or mentor who can provide valuable guidance and insights. 
However, Gemini individuals may also find themselves questioning their teachers, various religious doctrines, and philosophical beliefs. This intellectual exploration can sometimes lead to challenging or stressful situations. Still, these inquiries are a valuable part of personal growth, as long as they don't evolve into fundamentalist or rigid beliefs. Additionally, the ninth house holds significance as it is the twelfth house from the tenth, signifying potential career and authority loss. As a result, this transit may create stress in interactions with authority figures, both in the workplace and at home, which can extend to problems with their fathers. The need to spend money on their father's health could become a source of concern. This isn't an ideal period for career development in a job setup, as Gemini individuals might encounter ongoing challenges and obstacles. Furthermore, expenses are likely to increase during Saturn's direct motion in Aquarius, making it challenging to save money. Effective financial planning becomes essential for this challenging period. Gemini individuals may find that despite increased expenses, their money gains are only moderate, providing them with less satisfaction. Managing their finances effectively becomes a crucial concern, and they may consider turning to spiritual practices to achieve more satisfactory results. This period can also be marked by expenses, losses, failures, or obstacles in charitable endeavors. On the health front, maintaining robust health may pose challenges with symptoms of leg pain and stiffness stemming from a lack of energy. These physical discomforts may hinder their overall well-being during this phase. In essence, this Saturn transit holds unique significance for Gemini individuals. It encourages higher learning, spiritual exploration, and curiosity about diverse cultures, religions, and philosophies. The potential to connect with a wise mentor is a prominent feature. However, this period also comes with its challenges, including stress around authority figures, financial concerns, and health issues. Effective financial planning and spiritual practices can help mitigate the impact of increased expenses and moderate money gains, fostering personal growth and wisdom. For Cancer Sign, Saturn governing both their seventh house, associated with marriage, spouse, and business, and their eighth house, which deals with occult sciences, mysteries, and sudden events. Saturn turns direct in the eighth house, Saturn transiting 8th generally considers a difficult time period. This period places a distinct focus on higher learning, encompassing the areas of research, astrology and occult and knowledge, mysticism, and hidden sciences. It's important to note that significant progress and immediate benefits may not be readily forthcoming during this time. Cancer individuals may also encounter difficulties in their relationships with friends and may incur financial losses due to negligence. One of the significance of this transit is the fact that the Lord of the Seventh House is transiting the Eighth House. Such a situation can often trigger abrupt changes in a person's relationships due to unforeseen events. It can also lead to the entry or exit of a spouse or business partners, suggesting that this period may bring profound shifts in these associations. For those engaged in business ventures, Saturn's direct motion in Aquarius may usher in a period of lesser success, accompanied by intensified competition from rivals. This increased competition may, at times, result in financial losses. As a coping strategy, adapting and modifying one's business strategy becomes essential to secure more substantial profits. Significant transformation and change are likely to manifest in one's career and life path during this transit. Individuals may need to exercise greater caution while driving and traveling, as the eighth house is connected with accidents. It's a favorable period for delving into higher studies of occult sciences, stock market dynamics, surgeries, or research-oriented subjects, provided that one possesses an interest in these fields. Financially, cancer individuals may encounter challenges during this period, including financial shortages that give rise to worries. They might require funds but face delays in receiving the money they need, leading to fluctuations in both income and expenses. Such delays could result in a perpetual gap between the available funds and the necessary resources. This transit is also likely to introduce stress in personal relationships, dissatisfaction in sexual relations, and potential ego conflicts with partners or in-laws. It may be advisable to maintain a long-distance relationship temporarily to alleviate some of these stress. Cancer individuals should prepare themselves for significant life changes across various aspects. Potential issues during this period could encompass stomach discomfort, concerns regarding the safety of children, strained relations with the government, penalties or legal actions, relocations to remote places, health problems like eye-related issues. It's essential to be mindful of one's communication, as speaking untruths or dishonesty might become a concern. Women may play a role in causing one's reputation harm, and accidents are a possibility so they should be careful. 
In essence, the Saturn transit in the 8th house for Cancer individuals signifies a phase of deep learning and transformation. While challenges and disruptions may be encountered in various aspects of life, it also presents opportunities for personal growth and the exploration of hidden knowledge. Navigating this period with patience and adaptability is key to emerging stronger on the other side of these experiences. For Leo sign, Saturn's rules their sixth house, associated with daily work routine, disputes, diseases, and obstacles, as well as their seventh house, which pertains to marriage, spouse, and business. Saturn turning direct in their seventh house, a phase that typically brings about significant shifts in relationships and business matters. Saturn transiting seventh house signifies a period that often ushers in stressful situations and personal relationships, pushing individuals to concentrate on their partnerships and marriages. This applies not only to personal connections but also to business partnerships. Therefore, during this time Leo individuals will find themselves directing their attention toward relationship matters, whether it involves nurturing existing connections or embarking on new ones. The key to success during this period lies in fostering adaptability and compromise. The transit may also lead to ego clashes with partners, whether in personal relationships or in the realm of business. It's a choice between preserving one's ego or prioritizing the relationship. Conflicts may emerge, potentially affecting relationships, and Leo individuals should exercise caution during travels or interactions with their spouses. Maintaining a long-distance relationship could be a wise approach to reduce the tension during this period. Leo individuals may also face challenging journeys and potential illnesses concerning their spouses. There could be separations from spouses and children, and journeys may be fraught with challenging circumstances. Financial losses during travel may occur due to oversight or negligence. The fear of accidents during journeys may loom large, and financial expenditures for the health of a life partner may also arise. Despite spending money on their life partner, satisfaction might remain elusive, leaving Leo individuals feeling that their efforts aren't adequately reciprocated. This transit can also steer Leo individuals towards business ventures. However, if they are involved in business, Saturn's direct motion in Aquarius may not necessarily yield significant benefits or profits during this period. Expectations of profits may not align with the flexible results of this phase. Problems in partnerships may become more pronounced, leading to arguments and potential losses. The career front may also present ups and downs, accompanied by increased job pressure and bothersome work relationships. Managing schedules may become necessary, as job satisfaction may wane, prompting thoughts of seeking new prospects for personal fulfillment. Nevertheless, immediate job changes may prove challenging to make it happen. People work in agriculture field could experience challenges, like livestock losses. People who work in a service sector might encounter non-cooperation from their coworkers. The possibility of disease, low earnings, and engaging in menial jobs becomes more pronounced. Wandering aimlessly and facing difficulties in foreign travels is a potential outcome along with challenges in maintaining family and meeting daily expenses. All these factors make Saturn's presence in the seventh house unfavorable. However, the presence of Jupiter in the ninth house of Aries, without the malefic influence of Rahu, may offer some relief and mitigate several of these adverse effects during this period. Leo individuals can draw on this mitigating influence to navigate the challenges and adversities they might face in their relationships, business, and career. For Virgo sign, Saturn rules their fifth house, which governs education, romance, and creativity, and their sixth house, associated with daily work routine, disputes, diseases, and obstacles. Saturn turns direct in their sixth house. During this transit, Virgos may experience a redirection of their attention towards the demands of their daily work and professional responsibilities. They could find themselves grappling with stress at their workplace or facing challenges related to their colleagues and superiors. However, this period also offers a unique opportunity for those in the legal profession, as Saturn's influence aligns well with the nature of their work. It's a time when Virgo individuals may see their career aspirations materialize. New job opportunities may come their way, presenting them with a chance to fulfill their career objectives. Overseas travel prospects may also be on the horizon, offering a broader scope for professional growth. Their dedicated efforts and exemplary performance may lead to recognition and an enhanced reputation among their superiors ultimately resulting in job promotions, salary increases, and additional perks. Despite the positive developments in their career, this transit may not bode well for personal relationships, as conflicts and disputes could arise. Given that Saturn, the ruler of their fifth house, is now in the sixth house, conflicts with love interests, children, 
if you're in teaching profession, then with your students, may be more prevalent. To navigate this period successfully, Virgos should make an effort to accommodate differences and consider maintaining long-distance relationships to minimize disputes. This transit also hints at the possibility of taking on debt or loans, particularly for educational purposes. Such loans might be sought to finance their own education or that of their children. Health matters may also demand their attention, and they should focus on dealing with diseases, disputes, and obstacles. As 6th house 12th away from 7th house, this transit can be seen as a period where physical distance from one's spouse or partner may be necessary for various reasons, which could be related to job-related opportunities and traveling. This phase also presents an excellent opportunity for self-education in fields such as medicine, law, and courses related to their job. Virgos may experience financial growth and have a chance to accumulate savings. External sources of income and outsourcing opportunities may contribute to their financial well-being. Fortunes may favor them with potential monetary gains through inheritance. Support from friends in financial matters may also play a significant role in enhancing their financial stability. For those in business, there may be favorable prospects for securing financial resources through foreign channels. This period is marked by various positive aspects, including assistance from family members, the elimination of adversaries, construction of buildings or homes, employment opportunities, job promotions, financial stability, relief from chronic diseases, health improvements, success in litigation, and overall prosperity. In essence, the Saturn transit through the sixth house brings a shift in focus for Virgo individuals from matters of the heart to their daily work routine. It's a time when their career prospects look promising, with potential job advancements, salary increases, and overseas travel opportunities. However, they should be prepared for disputes and conflicts in personal relationships. This transit encourages educational pursuits, good financial prospects, and overall growth and prosperity in various aspects of life. For Libra, Saturn rules over their fourth house, which pertains to home, mother, and peace of mind, as well as their fifth house, which encompasses education, romance, and creativity. Saturn turning direct in their fifth house, triggering notable changes in fifth house-related aspects. When Saturn is in the fifth house, whether in a birth chart or through transit, it often prompts a shift away from romantic endeavors and turns the focus towards education and creative pursuits. For Libra, this marks a period when the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of their creative talents take precedence. It's a golden opportunity to further one's education and delve deep into areas of personal interest. During this period, individuals may find themselves dedicating significant effort to their studies and creative endeavors and they are likely to find high levels of satisfaction in their educational pursuits. Their intelligence may see notable growth, allowing them to advance rapidly in their chosen fields. Try to avoid making speculative investments, especially short-term ones. Instead, dedicating energy to educational pursuits and creative pursuits is recommended. For Libra individuals who have children, this transit may cast a shadow over their well-being. There could be concerns about the health and education of their children, leading to increased stress and mental anguish. This period may not be favorable for their children and could entail additional responsibilities and worries for parents. On the romantic front, this transit may introduce new relationships, but they are likely to be challenging to maintain, bringing more stress than joy. Romantic pursuits may take on a colder, less passionate tone during this period. However, maintaining harmonious relationships with spouse and business partners could be more achievable due to a fine understanding and balanced approach. Maturity in dealing with relationship matters is a notable feature, allowing individuals to interact with their partners on equal footing. This period encourages a more understanding and empathetic approach to relationships. Saturn has a way of making individuals work diligently on the significations represented by the house it's transiting. Ideally, this period is an opportune time to focus on education and self-improvement. It might also signify a potential career change, as the fifth house is the eighth house from the tenth, indicating a transformation in career matters. Libra individuals may witness favorable results and increased chances of promotions for their dedicated efforts. Enhanced income and additional incentives could be on the horizon, facilitating savings. For those seeking international job opportunities, this transit may provide valuable openings that align with their career goals. In the context of business ventures, the period is marked by potential profit gains. New business opportunities may also emerge, contributing to overall satisfaction. In essence, Saturn's transit through the fifth house for Libra individuals signifies a period when academic pursuits and creative endeavors take precedence over romantic interests. It's a time of personal growth and intellectual advancement, 
marked by dedication to educational goals and the nurturing of creative talents. Parents may find themselves concerned about their children's well-being, and romantic relationships may take on a more reserved, pragmatic tone. However, maintaining harmonious relationships with spouse and business partners is well within reach, thanks to a mature and empathetic approach. Career prospects and financial stability also see improvements, offering opportunities for advancement and profit gains. For Scorpio sign, Saturn rules the third house, which covers communication, travels, efforts, actions, and business, as well as their fourth house, linked to home, mother, and peace of mind. The current Saturn transit finds it positioned in their fourth house, which is often regarded as an unfavorable period. However, this transit carries multifaceted implications. During this period, as Saturn turned direct, Scorpio individuals may experience a shift in their focus towards their homes, mothers, and the idea of securing property, especially real estate. Saturn, a planet associated with construction, could bring opportunities for property acquisition and emphasize the importance of their domestic life. There may be a heightened connection with their mothers and a desire to spend time at home or with family. Still, Saturn's influence, which often signifies long distances, might lead to scenarios where they are separated from their homes, mothers, or homelands. Even when present at home, they may face additional stresses related to their domestic life. This transit may also raise concerns about the health of their mothers, potentially indicating stress and illnesses that require attention and care. Matters of the heart might take a backseat, or there could be separations from their children and romantic partners, given that the fourth house is the twelfth from the fifth house. Scorpios may yearn for a sense of peace and tranquility at home, especially when away from their homeland. Issues within the household could disrupt their domestic harmony. These problems might manifest as family disputes or other home-related challenges. The concentration on other activities may wane as their focus shifts towards addressing these issues, potentially leading to the need for a change of residence. On the career front, Scorpio individuals may find themselves less comfortable with the developments and events taking place during this period. Increased work pressure and challenges from superiors and colleagues could make them contemplate a change in their job for more favorable prospects. While their earnings may remain at moderate levels, competition from business rivals may pose a threat. Handling these competitive pressures may prove challenging, and decisions may become less straightforward. Despite these challenges, relations with the government may improve, presenting a favorable climate for interactions with government bodies. However, this period is not particularly conducive for agricultural ventures. This period could lead to wealth loss and potential conflicts with relatives. Health concerns may also emerge, possibly leading to mental anguish, decreased self-confidence, are the outcomes during this phase. In essence, Saturn's transit through the fourth house for Scorpio individuals brings about a shift in focus towards home, mother, and property matters. This period may involve challenges within the domestic sphere, such as family disputes, health concerns for mothers, and separations from children. The career front sees increased work pressures and challenges, prompting thoughts of job changes. While earnings may remain at moderate levels, competition from business rivals poses potential threats. Maintaining a balanced and patient approach during this phase will be essential in navigating these challenges and disruptions. For Sagittarius sign, Saturn rules both the second house, associated with finances and family, and the third house, which encompasses communication, travels, efforts, actions, and business. The current Saturn transit finds its position in their third house, which is considered a favorable placement for Saturn. Saturn turning direct in their third house offers various insights and potential developments for Sagittarius individuals. During this period, Sagittarius individuals are likely to exhibit a strong interest in gathering information and engaging in focused efforts related to business, communication, and counseling. This newfound enthusiasm is set to bring about favorable outcomes in various aspects of their lives, including family matters, financial stability, and personal growth. However, it's essential to note that while these benefits are attainable, they may manifest at a moderate pace. At the outset of this transit, some obstacles may present themselves, initially hindering their progress. These obstacles serve as challenges that Sagittarius individuals must overcome to achieve their goals. Additionally, this period is characterized by increased travel, often taking them far from their homeland. Their primary focus shifts from the comforts of home to places that are distant and less familiar, making frequent travel a prominent feature of this phase. Sagittarius individuals may also embark on the journey of starting a business venture or delving deeper into their own hobbies and skills. If they are involved in business endeavors, 
this transit holds the promise of potentially substantial profits, providing them with a commanding position within their business domain. The period offers the opportunity to develop innovative business strategies that could lead to higher profits. Furthermore, this phase may place a spotlight on events or concerns involving younger siblings. They might have stress and illness during this phase, and Sagittarius individuals should focus on their well-being. However, Sagittarius individuals themselves might also experience unexpected strokes of luck or receive assistance from friends, contributing to a positive aspect of this transit. The intensified focus on travel and communication necessitates caution when it comes to driving and journeying, given Saturn's status as a malefic planet. In the context of the third house, which pertains to efforts and actions, this transit underscores the importance of diligent and persistent effort to achieve positive outcomes. As a notable advantage, Sagittarius individuals may find themselves presented with new career opportunities abroad. Their dedication to hard work and their ability to win the admiration of superiors may set them on an upward career trajectory. Frequent travel related to their job may also become a prominent aspect of this period. In terms of financial rewards, this transit opens doors for high earnings through performance incentives, marking the fruition of their dedicated efforts. As a result of this transit, they may also experience increased influence, happiness, freedom from diseases, enhanced power, and even triumph over their adversaries. Overall, Saturn's transit through the third house for Sagittarius individuals ushers in a period of heightened focus on business, communication, and travel. It promises favorable outcomes in various life aspects, provided they navigate obstacles and maintain diligence in their efforts. Frequent travel and a shift of attention from home to distant places characterize this phase. For those involved in business, the potential for substantial profits and innovative business strategies looms large. Events related to younger siblings, both stressors and fortunate occurrences, will be in focus, and their dedication to hard work is likely to result in career advancement and financial rewards. For Capricorn, with Saturn governing their first house concerning self and life path, as well as their second house pertaining to wealth, speech, and family. Saturn transiting through their second house, which is often regarded as an unfavorable period. This particular phase will place a strong emphasis on financial matters and family concerns. During this transit, Capricorns are likely to adopt a more financially conscious approach, with an overarching goal of increasing their wealth and improving their financial stability. The period offers opportunities for substantial savings, though these financial gains are expected to be gradual and steady. It's important to note that Saturn's influence in the first house signifies that wealth accumulation may result from one's self-efforts. Therefore, Capricorns should explore new avenues and work diligently to bolster their savings. To maximize the potential for wealth accumulation, they must curb any tendencies toward extravagance, as careless spending can deplete their resources during this transit. Family development and strengthening their relationship with their life partner will be another significant focus for Capricorns during this period. The second house's association with wealth and resources complements the emphasis on family matters, as Saturn's position in this house suggests that family-related concerns will be prominent. These concerns may stem from illness or limitations in resources, potentially causing stress within the family setup. Additionally, the second house is the eighth from the seventh house, which represents relationships. This alignment indicates potential changes or instability in one's relationship life. For those in business, the Saturn Direct and Aquarius period holds promise for securing favorable returns and increased profitability. Following an initial period of hard work and effort, new business ventures may yield significant profits. Additionally, support from business partners is expected to be readily available, contributing to success in business endeavors. However, it's essential to be cautious during this period as there may be challenges and obstacles to overcome. Capricorns should maintain diligence in financial matters to avoid losses through deception or fraud. Borrowing money from others may not be as beneficial as intended, as the funds may be diverted to other purposes, further complicating financial stability. The health and well-being of their spouse and children will become a central concern during this transit, necessitating careful attention and care. The potential for a loss of prestige and the possibility of being compelled to leave one's home may arise. There may also be indications of head-related illnesses and potential earnings from illegal means. Overall, Saturn's transit through Capricorn's second house brings financial focus and family concerns to the forefront. While opportunities for wealth accumulation are present, they are expected to be gradual, requiring diligence and a conscious approach to saving and financial management. Family development and relationship strengthening are prominent themes, but may introduce changes or instability in relationship dynamics. 
For those in business, this period holds promise for securing good returns and profits, provided they navigate the initial challenges. Careful financial management and attention to family well-being will be key to successfully navigating this transit. For Aquarius sign, Saturn rules both their first house of self and life path and their twelfth house of foreign lands, spirituality, losses, and closures. Saturn transiting twelfth, first, and second houses considers challenging. This is a time of transformation and self-discovery. During this transit, Aquarius individuals are likely to undergo a profound shift in their life path and self-perception. Their focus will center on self-exploration and understanding their true purpose in the world. Questions about their existence and life's true path may become paramount. They may find themselves embarking on a journey of self-discovery, seeking answers to fundamental questions about their identity and life's direction. In the area of relationships, Saturn's direct aspect on the seventh house indicates potential stress and challenges in their partnerships. Partners will need to adopt a realistic and practical approach to sustain these relationships. While small disputes within the family may arise, it is essential for partners to navigate these issues with patience and understanding to maintain happiness in their connections. The focus shifts from external relationships to inner self. Aquarius individuals may develop a strong desire to travel to distant and foreign lands. By the time Saturn completes its transit in Aquarius in 2025, they are likely to experience significant transformations in various aspects of their lives, including their true life path and career. However, during this transit, there may be delays in reaping the benefits of their efforts. Aquarius individuals could encounter hindrances and obstacles from colleagues that might impact their performance. Despite their hard work, the remuneration they receive may be moderate rather than commensurate with their efforts. This transit represents a profound awakening for Aquarius individuals. It is a time when they can delve into self-discovery and seek their life's true purpose. Simultaneously, they must remain attentive to matters related to their wealth and health. Health issues, including pain in the thighs and eyes, might surface, and managing unexpected expenses could prove challenging. Their activities may unfold at a moderate pace, potentially leading to concerns and worries. Long-distance travel may be on the horizon, although it may not always align with their preferences. The twelfth house's connection to the first house suggests that they may earn money but struggle to save, given the increase in expenses they encountered during this period. The prospects for travel to foreign lands and living with friends are prominent. However, this phase may also bring challenges, including financial difficulties, loss of wealth, and potential humiliation. Fear of imprisonment and death may weigh on their minds. Food quality should be a concern to avoid food poisoning, and their vitality and health may be at risk. Additionally, they should be prepared for potential conflicts with friends and relatives, the affliction of diseases in children, and financial constraints. Overall, the transit of Saturn for Aquarius individuals is a profound and transformative period. It encourages self-discovery, self-realization, and a deep exploration of their true life path. While there may be challenges and obstacles, this transit ultimately offers the potential for significant personal growth and a clearer sense of purpose. For Pisces, Saturn turning direct carries significant influence as it rules both their 11th house of gains and 12th house of foreign lands, spirituality, losses, and closures. Saturn transiting 12th house signals the initiation of the seven-and-a-half-year-long challenging period, a time of rigorous personal testing and transformation. When Saturn transits the 12th house, it signifies a time of closure and culmination. Imagine each house in the birth chart as a room, and Saturn, as it moves through these houses, temporarily locks away certain results associated with each area of life. As Saturn enters the 12th house, it begins to release these delayed outcomes, paving the way for new beginnings when it enters the Ascendant during its next transit. This specific transit prompts Pisces individuals to confront and address pending matters from various aspects of their lives. The outcomes they experience during this period may yield mixed results, including both gains and expenses. However, the satisfaction they derive from these outcomes may not be enough. In fact, there may be moments of insecurity and disappointment as they navigate through the various facets of their life. During Saturn's direct transit in Aquarius, a profound interest in spirituality may take hold. This period may see them inclined towards exploring their spiritual side, embarking on journeys of self-discovery, and deepening their understanding of spiritual matters. They may even consider traveling to foreign lands. While spiritual growth is emphasized, Pisces individuals should also pay close attention to their health and financial matters. The twelfth house is not only associated with spirituality, but also with hospitals and expenses. 
Therefore, it is essential to maintain balance and take care of their well-being while navigating the spiritual and material aspects of life. On the financial front, they may face situations that result in losses and financial setbacks. Expectations of immediate profit gains may be met with disappointment. To navigate these challenges, careful financial planning and resource management are essential. In terms of their career, Pisces individuals may encounter a lack of job satisfaction. Their existing jobs might become increasingly demanding, with insufficient support from superiors. This heightened work pressure may lead to errors and potentially harm their professional reputation. As a result, they may contemplate changing jobs in pursuit of greater satisfaction and success. In their personal relationships, particularly with their life partners, there may be a lack of enthusiasm and emotional connection. This period may cast shadows of dissatisfaction and strained love bonds. To rekindle the spark in their relationships, they may need to resort to adjustments, fostering beautiful moments and deepening their connections. The 12th house's association with long journeys and expenses may manifest as wanderings and overseas travel. Fear, sorrow, unemployment, decision-making challenges, mental imbalance, and separation from family members are potential outcomes of this transit. Overall, the Saturn transit through Pisces' 12th house signifies a period of closure, release, and transformation. As they work through pending matters and delve into spirituality, it is essential for them to balance their spiritual pursuits with attention to health and financial stability. While there may be obstacles, the lessons and experiences gained during this transit will shape their path for the future. As we wrap up this transit episode, remember that these insights are based on sidereal or Vedic astrology, which accounts for the approximately 24 degree difference with the tropical zodiac. It's an exciting month ahead with astrological movements impacting all aspects of life. If you'd like more personalized predictions for your specific zodiac sign or have any questions about your astrological chart, feel free to reach out to us. Stay tuned for more astrological updates. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more astrology insights. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you once again for joining us, and we eagerly anticipate sharing more astrological wisdom with you in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright.